everybody, it's Nina. Thanks for joining me today for a new Studio Monday. And I'm gonna be featuring some Paper Smooches products with you, showing you how you can use the adorable Baby Birds stamp set, along with a couple of other Paper Smooches products and a couple of really fun birthday cards. So this is the Baby Birds stamp set, and I'm going to be stamping these images in my Mini Misty tool onto some Strathmore watercolor paper. I wanted to watercolor with these images, and I like the Strathmore watercolor paper because it has a really nice texture to it. So I thought this would be a really fun textured paper to use for my coloring and give the birds a little bit of interest. I'm stamping them with Simon Says Stamp Intense Black ink because this ink is water safe. So I can go ahead and stamp this down and use this and know that my lines aren't going to bleed from the water coloring that I'll be doing later on. I did need to stamp the images twice because like I said, this is watercolor paper and it's got a texture. So the stamping was not perfect the first time around. And because I used my Misty tool, that allows me to go ahead and re-stamp over top of those same images over and over again until I have a nice impression. And I only needed to stamp these twice. All right, so the watercolor I'm going to be doing today is using Daniel Smith watercolors. And I wanted to show you how you can really get some nice use out of these dot charts that we have here at Simon's Stamp of the Daniel Smith watercolors. This particular dot chart is the Yana Smakula palette, and it's a bunch of colors that Yana really loves using. And I really love these colors as well. They're really bright, beautiful, and really intense in color. And I colored all of these images with these dot charts, and I still have tons of color left over. Now, as I'm coloring, one of the things I wanted to point out to you was that I did mess up here. This bird, I'm coloring with the phalo blue color. I ended up bringing in some of that quinacridone gold, but because the area was still wet from the phalo blue, that yellow bled into that teal green. Now I'm lucky that those two colors were very similar in the color tones, so they actually blend together very nicely and I was able to fix that. But if you're coloring this and say the red, the quinacridone coral blended in with that phalo blue, you would have ended up with a brown. So when you're coloring, make sure that you're careful where you're applying the wet color down, making sure that you're not getting it contaminated by other wet colors on your painting. Now for the toucan, I'm using some ultramarine turquoise, which is a gorgeous color. I also bring in some of the other colors for his beak, such as quinacridone coral, quinacridone gold, and sep sap green. I really love these birds because they're super fun and happy and very whimsical and there's a lot of open space so that makes coloring really easy. So if you're looking for a fun and cute stamp set that's easy to color, these baby birds are totally perfect for that. As I was coloring in these images, I was making sure to use colors throughout the entire set of images that are similar. So when I used quinacridone coral for the flamingo, I made sure to use it on the other birds as well. And the same thing with other colors. The Canacridone Gold is another one that I use throughout the entire set of images. And that's because I originally was going to use all four on a card, but it ended up turning out that the last bird, the Toucan, he didn't fit on my card design. So I ended up creating a total of two cards, which I think is actually really fun because it also ended up allowing me to use up some of the extra blooms that I had created for my card as well. But as I'm coloring this, I made sure to use colors that coordinated throughout the entire set of images so that way I knew that the images would match well together and I'd have a cohesive color scheme throughout the entire card design and I didn't have colors clashing with each other. That's another really fun thing about a palette like this is because all of the colors that are on here work really well together. It's a nice set of colors that match well and so it makes your job of picking colors a lot easier. So once I finished coloring in all of the images, I could have cut these out with the coordinating dies, but I don't have them. So I went ahead and used my fussy cut scissors to go ahead and trim the images down. But like I said, there are dies for these particular birds. Once I cut the birds out, now I can get started on building the rest of my card design. My sister really loved these birds and she was kind of sitting here and playing with some of the different pieces that I have here, such as the birds. She pulled some hello dies that I had and she pulled the speech bubbles, which we'll actually be using on this particular card. And she was kind of playing around with them and mixing and matching and just stacking them all over on top of my desk. So she was my helper here for a little bit. But what I wanted to do with these birds is I had a lot of watercolor swatches that I had painted onto some watercolor paper because I like to actually die cut from them. So I took all of these different scraps of watercolor swatches that I had sitting around. Very simple to do. I just basically took watercolor and made a swatch of color on a piece of paper. 
and I have a bunch of different colors of watercolor paper painted. And I use those to trim out the balloons from the Paper Smooches balloon die set. You could have used cardstock if you wanted to, but I liked the look of the watercoloring because it matched well with the burrs that we colored as well. I attached string to the back side of each of these balloons, and this is going to be the first card that we're going to be doing here, which is a cluster of balloons kind of spaced out a little bit across the front of the card panel. I'm taking all of the strings and I'm folding them over the edge of the paper. These are going to pull them taut against the paper, but, but it's also going to give some vertical movement to the card, kind of letting you see the balloons go up into the air. And the clean and simple style of it is really helping the whole card design get pulled together because this is a very bold card design that we're creating here. I added the strings down onto the backside of that panel, and then I'll take the birds and pop them up with some foam tape. I layered them with either two or a single layer of foam tape, just varying up the heights. And then I also brought in my Spectrum Noir clear overlay pen and added glitter to each of the different balloons. As I'm doing this, I'm making sure to wipe off the tip of my brush because there is some color transferring from the watercolor onto the bristles. So by just wiping that off, that lets me not contaminate the rest of the balloons with a different color. Now because these are birthday cards, my, I felt my animals really needed to have some sort of party accessory. And I didn't have anything from Paper Smooches that worked for that, but I did have the Cuddly Critters Accessories stamp set from Simon Says Stamp that has a really nice party hat and also a bow tie. And these fit perfectly on these birds. So if you don't have something for a card design that you really want to add, in this case, I wanted to add party accessories. You can do that by pulling in other images from your other stamp sets. Just mix and match things and see what you can create with. Now, I added in some color with these images using that same dot chart. Then with some gel pens, I'm using some Sakura glaze and some Sakura stardust pens to add details to the party hats. So I'm adding these down onto my birds using some liquid glue. I thought the bow tie looks so cute on this particular bird. It just adds a really fun element to him and also a little bit more extra color to the center of his body. Now the sentiment I'm using here is the happy bird day greeting. I thought this one was super cute. I really love the play on words. Puns always get me. And I wanted to stamp this down onto some black card stock so I could cut it out with the Simon Says Stamp Talk Bubbles die set. I really like these talk bubbles because it allows you to make your critters or animals, people, whatever you're putting on your card, have a little bit of life and talk to your recipient. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp this down, heat emboss it with some white embossing powder, and then pop up that speech bubble onto my card. Now again, because this card has a lot going on and it's also extremely bold, I kept with a very clean and simple design. So there's not a lot of extra embellishment here and that's on purpose so that way the card design A doesn't get too busy and B carries the style of the images. All right, so like I said, I had a bunch of balloons left over. I don't know what I was thinking, but I die cut a ton of balloons. So I was like, okay, well, let's make another card with this. So I took all these balloons and I started layering them together and creating this big, giant bunch of balloons. In the end, I kind of think I added a few too many. I might have wanted to add a little bit less, but I was trying to use them all up. So I have this literally gigantic pile of balloons that this little toucan is going to be holding. So I attached them all down. Like I said, I was layering them together. I used double-sided adhesive for this. And then in the end, gives me this really nice bunch of balloons. Now with that bunch of balloons, I added again a couple pieces of string to the backside. Not many, just three. And I layered that behind my panel, just like I did for the first card. And then I layered the toucan on top of that with that same happy birthday greeting. Again, I added some sparkle to the balloons with the gel pen, and then this time I also brought in a few sequins to add a little bit of interest to the background. That also fills in some of the emptier spaces without making it very distracting. So this accents the entire card really nicely. So I hope you enjoyed these two ideas using the really adorable Baby Birds stamp set from Paper Smooches, as well as some other products that I thought really worked well with this card set. It's really fun to be able to use dot charts like this one here from the Yanis Makula set that we have at Simon Says Stamp. It's really fun to be able to see how far you can stretch dot charts like this. You can use them not only for trying out colors and seeing which ones you like, but you can also get some use out of them then too.
I hope you enjoyed today's video. I will be back soon with another video tutorial for you. Until then, here's a couple more you might find interesting. Have a great day and I will see you again soon. Bye!